Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Slipping Out. In this one we're going to be delving into Call of Duty World at War to see some of the behind the scenes parts to the game that you wouldn't normally get to look at. Before we get going into this one, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all who have supported the channel recently by either liking the videos or sharing them on social media. That is a huge thing and it helps the channel grow. And if the channel grows, then I can carry on making these videos. If you do want to come and chat or want to find out more about the channel, like what's coming soon, I have Twitter, Instagram, Discord. You can find all the links in the description to the different social media sites. It would be great to hear from you on those. Miller. Anyway, to start off, our character Miller is served by Corporal Roebuck and Sergeant Sullivan. But where do these heroes come from? Well, they along with the rest of the marines are hiding just beyond the outside of the hut. So in fact they are practically always here. Just, you know, waiting around okay. to see how escalated the situation gets. The other thing I found interesting about this scene is that the cabins further back on the beach that get blown up already have the burning log textures and the shrapnel inside. Where's the fireworks? Just tell me those charges where it duds. They better not be. One of my Twitter followers got in touch asking if all the ships that can be seen are 3D models or 2D. It turns out that most of them are 3D, however right at the back of these are some 2D textures that in fact you can see when we get close up to them, the ships are not fully in the water like they should be, although that is very difficult to spot from the normal playing distance. Seconds. 
During the mission hard landing, we see this plane fly overhead whilst being shot down, and we come across this later into the next part of the mission. However, this is a bit of a trick, because the plane we see crashing actually ends up beneath the back of the map, and you can just about see it here disappearing. Whilst we're on this mission, I thought it would be an ideal time to give you an idea of just how large some of these campaign maps can be by looking from a bird's eye view. In this one in particular, we can pretty much draw the route that we take from the start of the map in the jungle to the end at the AA bunker. And here is that bunker. Let's take a look at where some of the enemy soldiers come from. That was pretty harsh being in just spawned, but at least it gives you an example. Earlier on in the video I mentioned about the ships in the background, well, what about the bombers flying overhead on the mission Vendetta? To my surprise, I found that all of the bombers are fully 3D, even the ones flying so high that they actually look 2D. I genuinely expected the highest ones to be 2D because there's so many flying overhead, but it was a nice surprise. The game is cat and mouse. I will draw his spine. Keep your eyes open for the flash. Ready? Now! Now, let's take a closer look at the sniper that we have to take out. So, first of all, the sniper can actually be different models wearing slight variations of uniform, and this seems pretty random from playthrough to playthrough of how he's going to look. The other thing about this sniper is he is a little cheeky and tries to play distraction tricks if we don't dispose of him soon enough. Watch closely in the background to spot where the helmet on a stick comes from. Dimitri, finish those rats! <laughs> Once again, you cheat dead. Our tanks are ready to smash this line and...
Alright, so whilst we're in the underground tube station, we get this huge wave of water that floods the place. So I thought I'd take a quick look at where this comes from. During breaking points in the underground trenches, I noticed a few tunnels that normally we wouldn't be able to enter. To be honest, I wasn't going to add these to the video, as there isn't too much hidden away down any of them. But I know from experience, if I didn't show them, chances are one of you guys would ask what's inside. So just in case anybody wants to know, here they are. It's over. Everything that was asked of us, we've done. Every night, we lay in a filthy foxhole, praying the enemy won't slit our throats. Every day was spent crawling through the mud and the dirt, while bullets whistle all around. This is the enemy's last stand. When we take Shuri Castle, we go home. All of us. I was curious to see what's inside the Reichstag, I hope I got the pronunciation correct on that one, before we enter during the final mission, and I was quite surprised to see that some of the objects and items that appear in that next mission are inside here, even though you can't see them from outside. One experiment I like to do on these Call of Duty games is to remove the blackout screen at the start of each mission, just to see what's happening behind the scenes as the mission loads. Here we can see that our character is floating in the void beneath the map, and then quickly teleports to the starting position just before the black screen fades out. Perhaps heroes need not question their actions. Steal yourselves, men, for the final push to victory! Today we crush what remains of their fascist right. Come on, get back! I wanna get tougher! German drop!
Alright, so we have the flag and we're ready to plant it. However, there is one guy who has other ideas as he pops up from behind the ledge. Let's watch the end sequence from a different perspective. my friend. You always survive. The honor should be yours. One of my Instagram followers commented asking if we could find out what was going on around the ground at this point whilst we hang the flag. Well I'd love to say that there's loads of tanks with troops stood around celebrating down here. However unfortunately that is not the case, in fact there is only this rather basic looking statue amongst the dense smoke and fog. However it's always good just to slip out and take a look. As long as you live, the heart of this army can never be broken. Things will change, my friend. As heroes, we will return to Russia's embrace. Thank you. 